Jaina Keeping up with G Keeping up, keeping up, keeping up with G Ay. Keeping up with G YouTube channel and if this is your first time watching my video please and please click that icon that has the right up on it subscribe so we can be family so you can be part of this family tribe okay so welcome back to my youtube channel i am so excited to have you guys back back <laughs> i'm so excited to have you guys back here again and today you guys will be baking with me we are going to be baking vanilla cake <laughs> Vanilla cake. Okay, so quickly I'll just put on my apron and we'll get down to business. Look too funny on this apron. Alright, so right now we'll just go down to business. For the vanilla cake recipe, obviously this is a butter. This is 500 gram of butter, so I don't really need to scale it. I already know the quantity. And this is a cup of sugar. So I'm just going to put in my butter. So, I started baking because I used to see a lot of cool videos and sorry not videos per se I used to see lots of cool pictures of cakes on Instagram and whenever I see those pictures I'm always like wow this cake is beautiful so uh, this is my butter and then my sugar I will just be using my mix you can see it right. I'll just quickly mix it. That's creamy, it's hot creamy. So I finally fixed the mixer. So we'll be creaming the butter and sugar right now. So family, um, I'm done creaming my sugar and butter. This is just sugar and butter and that's it. So sorry if I'm a bit nervous. I hope my voice isn't shaky, shaky, shaky. Um, it's because this is my first tutorial video. So I'm still trying to get, you know, my confidence in place. But don't worry, trust me, I'm good. I've been baking for over two years now, so I'm good. So the next thing we're doing is our floor. This floor is already saved. So I'll just measure 500 gram of flour because I use 500 gram of butter. So I also use 500 gram of flour and then for my egg also I also measure it. So So this is 500 gram of flour. Then I will add baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder is just perfect for this recipe. And with measuring your baking powder with all of this teaspoon, do not eat it like this. I don't know if you can see this. Do not do you see the way it is? Do not eat it like this. Make sure it's leveled. Don't worry, my hands are like totally clean. I washed them before I started. See, it's leveled now. Okay, then add it to your flow. So that's how to measure. So when you're using um, any of the cup measurements or the spoon measurements, make sure it's level. Do not if it starts up the measure. So this is my flow. You could also you go back to using your cake mixer to while you are putting your flow. You can go back to using your cake mixer to put in your flow and then your egg together. But then I like to use spatula. In Nigeria they call it tonigari. <laughs> so I like to use my tonigari. <laughs> okay. But since this is stony, this is cake. Probably I'll call it stony cake. <laughs> oh my it's not spatula. So you take your flour and then you add to it. So for your egg. You also measure your egg. This, I already measured this egg. I, already, I know that. So you measure your egg and you measure 500 grams of egg. I measure my egg alongside the shell of my egg also. So right now, I'll just break the egg inside my batter. Nervous about this cake stuff. In fact, my initial plan was as I'm baking, I'll be telling you about 
my love for baking and why I started baking and turned it into a business and everything. But uh, and tutorial video is not easy. All those YouTubers I see that make tutorial video. Thumbs up. You guys are really trying. It's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. I even forgot to like go through the ingredients with you guys. First of all, everything you need to make your vanilla cake, you need your butter, your sugar, your sugar, your flour, your egg, your baking powder, your vanilla flavor, preservative if you want, make emulsion, and that's it. So don't worry to be on the screen though. So gradually when you put in your flour. Is there and then let's break it. I'll break it in a bowl first before I put it in my actual butter. This is just a bath just to dispose the shell. So I was breaking it. I'm breaking the egg one after the other, just in case there's any bad egg. I don't have to. I don't have to spoil the others. Though I trust my egg vendor, though she's really good. It's coming up. So I started baking because. Whenever I go on social media, I just used to see beautiful cakes, like lovely cakes. I would always admire it. I'm like, ah, this cake is fine, no, and everything. One day I was like, ah, buy even Lena to make all of these things safe. Because I was always, ah, this I, in fact, I used to save a lot of cake pictures in my phone, just for saving sake. I always save a lot of cake pictures in my phone. And I just one day I was like, ah, buy even just... Learn how to do this for my personal consumption initially, just for personal. And then, you know, as a legend, I just learn it for probably your kids and everything. So that's how I learned how to bake. I learned how to bake around my third year in the university. Around my third year in the university, I went to the baking school here in Port Harcourt, and that's how. I learned how to bake. So immediately I finished from my baking school. I started chicken sculpture. So, when I said my third year in university, <laughs> I just said my third year in university, like you guys really know me personally. Okay, my, I graduated last year, December. Fun fact. You want to hear fun fact? <laughs> so, I'm still in the house where I've been staying for the past over two years now. I graduated last year, December, but then I've not moved my tents out yet. My rent is still counting. So this is like a student environment. If you notice, like, my kitchen space is like, it's really small, right? Yeah, it's more because this is a student house, like, yeah, in University of Port Harcourt, we have a place we call Lodge. They call it some other school, they call it off campus. Um, People say off key and the rest. I don't really know what they call other schools, but yeah, they call it lodge. So this is like my lodge. Yeah, I stay from my year. Year two, year three, say I graduate from university. So I've been here. And I was supposed to move. I was supposed to move. NYC. This is my vanilla extract. So I'm just going to take one teaspoon of it also. Major one teaspoon and add two. With this though, you can never go wrong. You can just put as many teaspoons as you want to put. I'm in the mood of putting two teaspoons. So that's two teaspoons. Then 
there again. And then this is my Mick Emotion. Gosh, I love this. Oh, my hand is already hot, sorry. I love using this for all my vanilla cake recipe. Just like to put. I just put the. I feel like gin is okay. You don't do. So I don't really have a quantity for that one. But I really like how it comes out. It's really nice. So we're saying, we're saying about um why I'm still at my apartment. <sighs> this thing is I do try talking, doing a tutorial video, <laughs> everything together. It's not easy. Oh, we're getting there. Don't worry. Next video, I'm promising you guys I'll do far better than this, okay? So we say where I'm staying. So I'm staying. I'm um in Nigeria. If you are not in Nigeria, in Nigeria we go for NYC. That's <laughs> we go for NYC, and I was supposed to go for NYC this year. That's around um May, April, thereabouts. But then I couldn't go for NYC because of the pandemic going on. They are not allowing gatherings, obviously, you already know about that, right? <laughs> so, my cake is ready. Oh, let me just take it one more time. my pan i'll show you how to grease a pan and also i'll pre-eat my oven for baking a cake you need your cake to be at 140 degrees celsius you could also put it in 100 and, 140 degrees better some people put it in 145 degrees celsius but i prefer around 140 degrees or even 135 degrees celsius because i want my cake drying up on the outside and then the inside it's not ready yet so and to grease the pan, you just need a little quantity of water. Just put it inside and let it go round. And then after adding your water to it, you are going to add flour. So this is flour. You just dust also a little quantity of flour so it just goes just goes around okay. so i'm making um a six inches cake this is a six inches pan but then i won't put all my butter in one pan i'm going to share them into three different six inches pan because when you put all your butter in one pan even if the pan is enough to take all the butter it's not good because your cake will come out really dense like really strong and most people don't like dense cake they like their cake strong um like their cake soft and fluffy so we'll share the cakes in these three different we'll share the butter in these three different pans in the various pans i'm just going to eat it so it's just be leveled because if your cake is not leveled the way you put your cake in the butter that's how it's going to bake and i don't want to start icing and having to do a lot of training on my cake so i just do this thing it's just to level the cake so i'll do it for each of my pans so now So now my pans, they are all leveled. Now, so now the butter is all leveled inside the pans, and I already preheated my oven. Don't worry, I'm not using this oven. This is my electric oven. I started with this oven when I got this oven. I just started baking. So don't worry, I'm not using it. I'm going to use my gas oven. 
So quickly, we'll take it into the oven. So this cake took approximately 35 minutes to get ready. That's because it's just a very small cake. And then I shed it into several pans. That's another good thing about sharing your cake into several pans. Not just the fact that the cake will come out soft and fluffy, but also it will get ready quickly. So it took around 35, 30 35 minutes to get ready. So now I'll be removing the cake from the pan. See, I'm touching it like this. Don't get to see that I'm touching your pan like this. <laughs> I'm able to touch it like this because it has been out of the oven for a while now and it's not cool. If not, I would have been wearing gloves and everything. So please, don't... So, this is it for our vanilla cake recipe. I know you want to test, right? You want to try it? Look at me, come to Buttercut. <laughs> Sorry, I really would love to share this with you also, but then... I wish there's a way, I, think, I feel like technology should improve in a way that you could share food via, you know, Zender and the rest. I don't know. Probably we'll get there. Probably. Uh -huh. So thank you so much for watching today's episode of Keeping Up With Jean. Thank you for baking with me. Uh, this was super fun doing it with you. Initially I was really nervous. I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, I was nervous, but I pulled this through. Yeah! I pulled this through and I'm so excited. My first tutorial video. Expect more videos. Expect more Bake With Me videos. I hope you love this. I hope you learned something new. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and see you next time. Questions?